know, I'm so I'm very interested in actually talking to the youngers and actually letting them know that they can reach their potential. They can be who they want to be. Interestingly, this is the seventh year running and the impact is powerful. Um, leadership wise, they've amassed um, tremendous skills that allows them to actually interact with um, their, their peers and it gives them a, a leverage and an edge to actually compete globally with anybody. Um, as well, we actually take them through a process in ethical responsibility. So their moral levels and their moral understanding as to how to relate with their fellow human being is very, very high. I was a mentee in 2015 and my mentor was Mrs. O. Mouvin Thompson. Currently, I'm studying civil engineering at the University of Lagos, still on the level. And she do say that in everything you do, try to be the best. And I've been applying that basically. I'm a first class student, I'm on four scholarships. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. About 10 or so years ago, I was seated like, when you were seated, you know, in secondary school. And very excited to, you know, write the WIAC exams and go to university and I had all, you know, the rest of my life ahead of me. Um, now I'm a lawyer and... I have been in this program for a long period. I have joined them more than six years ago. It was very fantastic and my students have benefited a lot and I'm always happy, always inspired to be in this program. How do we fight the bad guys? The best is to start to garner effort around the few good guys around us. And with or without the resources, to get to train as many much more good guys for our future. And that is why we said the slogan for event is grooming the next generation of visionary leaders. We, if we are not satisfied with the current state of Nigeria, there is no way people in the near future will not fall for us for the same mistake if we don't train the current level of people that we have in our society. Because of technology and just technology, a lot of things have changed in a lot of sectors. And that means that when you are thinking about your career, you shouldn't think about just being a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer, an architect, and all of that. You should think a bit wider. For instance, in the field of medicine, physiotherapy is a very underrated field of practice. And speech pathology, it is. Because you find that a lot of people look down on these professions, and everybody wants to be a medical doctor, only to be paid maybe 75,000 naira or 100,000 naira a month after seven years of study. However, a physiotherapist in private practice will charge that 70 or 75,000 naira for a day's work, or in some cases, a week's work. As the person, boy, girl, teenager, man, woman, do you influence people? Can you influence people? Yeah. Yes. So yes, you should be able to influence people. And there are many ways you would influence somebody. But the first thing I would like to say is that you influence people by your own example. If you are constantly on the streets fighting, okay, as a 16-year-old, 15-year-old, 14, whatever age we are, and some six-year-olds and seven-year-olds are passing by and they're seeing you fighting. Have you influenced them? Yes, now. Have you influenced them? Yes. All right. What kind of influence is that? Positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Would you have been a good leader or a bad leader? Bad leader. Thank you very much. I like your response now. Clap for yourselves as we continue. Excellent. Okay. So, you must lead positively by example. So tell me, what can you tell me that your students have left here with today? Um, one, I think to be um, a listener, yes. 
and then to be a fearless leader. If you don't score at least eight in listening, in reading, in speaking, and in writing, you can't get admission into any university in the United Kingdom. So if you are not good, if you don't take your subject seriously, to be above average in every single subject, all this grammar we have spoken the whole of this morning is not for you, it's for the next person. So whilst you are researching on your profession, your first responsibility is to be good in your subject. What are you taking on? Wow. To be a good influence to other people, to be honest, to be trustworthy, and also to also be one which other people can look and say, yes, I want to be like that girl, yeah, yeah, like Nelson Mandela and other good leaders. At FCMB, we believe in the future of young people, that's why we partner with programs like this, to see how we can uh, make the best out of the situation and grow the next set of leaders for the next generation. It's so important to us because um, the young people today are going to be the leaders in the future of the corporate world tomorrow. <laughs> and how we can get involved in them to this is also a way of us investing in our own future as a bank. Because if you are successful, you bring your success back to us and you come and bank with a bank that uh, supports your dreams and aspirations.